Welcome back to another WTF Wednesday. Tonight's going to be a little different. I'm not going to cover the same kind of stories, uh, but I am going to do my vocabulary words for the night. And then we're going to do a tutorial on how to make boiled peanuts. So hopefully you'll be entertained and educated by this, but uh, yeah, I haven't got to try the boiled peanuts yet, but uh, yeah, I'm probably going to save them for tomorrow. It's still Saturday, by the way. I'm trying to get a little bit ahead as I'm going out of town next weekend, so uh, yeah, we'll move right into the uh, the words of the night. All right, so our first word tonight is Dracula sneeze. That's when you hold up your arm to cover your face, like Dracula covering his face with his cape when you sneeze. Dracula sneeze. All right, dead text. This is a text that's received too long after as a reply to one you sent before that you no longer feel obligated to respond to. Deja vu. That's wearing the same Halloween costume to parties year after year. Might want to freshen that up a bit. Defensive eating. One I'm trying to not do. That's strategically eating food in order to make sure that others do not get to eat it. Darth Breather. That's an adjective describing a person who breathes loudly at all times and is especially noticeable in quiet places. Darth Breather. Dubstep. It's a favorite music genre of mine. Dubstep is music that is created from Transformers having sex. Another deja moment, deja brew. Deja brew is the moment when you start remembering things from last night after you drank too much. Deja brew. And finally, the phrase, do I smell popcorn? This is especially funny when it's uttered right after you cut a large and especially stinky fart, forcing anyone who's around you to inhale sharply through their nose to try to smell the popcorn when they are now exposed to your flatulence. Um, I'm really a 13 year old kid. I think that's freaking hysterical. Okay, on that note, now we're going to proceed to our tutorial on how to boil peanuts. It's a southern staple. It is a delicacy, uh, and it's something that I get to enjoy once a year, and I'm going to break my diet tomorrow eating it because they are very fattening, but it's a once a year thing, and I would like to thank very much my sister Karen, who you'll probably get to meet at some point, maybe at Christmas time, for sending those to me. It was very generous, very thoughtful, and I appreciate it oh so much. I love you. Thank you, Karen. Okay, on to the tutorial. All right, so on this fine Saturday morning, we're gonna boil up a mess of peanuts here, and uh, let me show you how we do it. These peanuts were sent by my sister, who was so here, so that we can uh, enjoy this together. Now, these are green peanuts, which means they're fresh out of the ground, not the color green. Uh, which means that uh, they, they'll go bad very quickly. So they were in the mail, um, and then they went straight to my fridge. Take a look at these beauties. So first thing, first step here is we rinse and clean them, and we pull out all the gross ones because there's no really quality control. These things come right out of the ground into these bags. And uh, yeah, so we'll uh, clean them up and get them ready to boil. So this is quite a bit of peanuts. Um, I'm gonna get the pot ready as well so I can clean them and then dump them into the pot. And then, uh, yeah, we'll uh, boil them up. So 
So in order to boil up a mess this big, you need a pretty good sized pot. And it's going to take several hours to, to boil, but uh, it's Saturday morning. We've got time. Now there's a lot that are not so great that we're, pu we're pulling out. Do our own quality control here. This is an old southern tradition, especially on game days, but uh, there was a time where you didn't go on a road trip in the south where you did not stop to get more peanuts from one of the roadside stands to people boil them up and sit on the side of the road on the rural roads main highways though and when you're on your road trip as soon as you spot one of these things you pull over and everybody gets full peanuts to eat while they ride in the car mm, look at that one well, my lighting's not very good. Let's see if we can fix that. That's a lot better. So. Alright, there's the first batch. Ooh, look at that one. So now we have our pot of peanuts ready to be boiled. Fill this thing up with water. And then we just put a seemingly unhealthy amount of salt in the water. Now the thing is, the uh, brine, is what we call it, is not directly boiling into the peanut. What you do is you boil the peanut itself until it gets to the right consistency, you know, the, the flesh, you keep tasting it, trying it until, until the flesh gets to be the right consistency. And then you uh, turn the heat off and let them set. So once they're at the right consistency, you let it set, and as it sets, it absorbs the salt water. And again, you, t you taste it to flavor. So uh, when it absorbs the right amount of salt, then uh, they're done. So it's pretty easy. It just takes a while, several hours of boiling um, with the lid on. So I was thinking of trying my time lapse feature on this, but since the lid will be on, I don't think you'll find boiling the, watching the pot boil to be that exciting. So. All right, now that we've got the uh, peanuts in, we're gonna put the salt in. I'm hoping I have enough salt I've got two containers that uh, I have left over, so I'm just going to pour it all in. And I know you're thinking, what the, look at all that salt, that's a heart attack waiting to happen, right? Well, it gets washed off and mixed in with the water. Like I said, it makes a brine. Huh, looks like I have enough. You, can, you can't put too much in, because like I said, the, the salt doesn't take effect until uh, you actually uh, leave them to set once they're boiled so right, well, 
I don't need to buy any salt. But, yeah, good, good brine. Mm, good brine. All right, so we have the uh, brine ready. We're going to turn the heat on up high until they start to boil. Sorry for any pot noise here. So yeah, so we're going to uh, put them on here until they start to boil. And once they're boiled, boiling, we will turn them down to simmer boil and put the lid on. And uh, we'll probably have to come back and stir them a bit, add a little water, because it's going to take several hours for this to happen. And then, uh, yeah, we'll start t t testing them. But again, it'll be a couple hours before we get back to this point. All right, starting to steam a little bit, not quite boiling, but uh, when it does get to boiling, we'll put the lid on it. It's been about 15 minutes. All right, it's been an hour. Everything seems to be boiling nicely. Whole house smells like boiled peanuts, which smells like home and freedom. Ah. Two hours in. Look how plump and juicy they're getting. Should be nice and ready by game time. So two and a half hours in, the shells are starting to get soft where they'll pop open easy and I tried one and uh, meat's still a little tough so a little, little while longer. But we're getting there. Look how plump they're getting. Mmm. Alright, it's been three hours. <clears throat> Gonna give a little test to one of these. That water's hot. Let's try this one right here. You gotta run this under cold water to cool it off so you can try it. Oh, almost. Maybe another 30 minutes, it'll be good. Turn up the heat a little bit. All right, checking the tenderness again. Hopefully, it's done. Ooh, nice and boiling. Try this one right here. Mmm. Tastes perfect. All right. Now it's time to turn off the heat. Turn off the heat. Cover it up. And now you let it soak. And what will happen is the peanuts will absorb the salt. And what you'll see is right now they're floating, see? And what will happen is as they absorb the salt, they'll sink in the water. And then you can start trying them for taste until they get to the right saltiness for you. And then they're done. So we're going to take them off the heat, which we've already done. We're going to cover them up. We're going to let them soak. All right, well, we've run out of time. You can see they're starting to sink, but they will never sink all the way because it's a pretty full batch. But uh, I think they're, they're ready. We're going to pour them out, pour out the water, and uh, 
they're gonna be too hot to eat for a bit we're headed up to the bar to watch the Bama game and uh, we'll have these for tomorrow for the NFL anyway glad I could share the uh, process with you um, boiled peanuts don't last very long so you gotta eat them up quick and I promise we'll be doing our best to put a dent in them tomorrow but uh, yeah so off to the game roll tide